What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. A routine is really important you don't want to change your routine. You really don't want to kind of mix it up with something else. It's like your routine is waking up every morning early, doing the same research, you know, finding the same stock that makes sense to you. You know, it doesn't make sense, you know, uh, move on to the next one. I mean, it's something that uh, we need that on a daily basis. Uh, I mean, you know, a good sleep, trying to get your mind or yeah, like your physical uh, you know stuff ready before the open right and so that's that's uh, you know like everything's uh in in routine and psychology is strange uh strength you need to know um it's like what setup you're gonna like or what setup you you know that uh, you know being working for you and and so when you in a trade you will have less emotions right it's uh it's like when when you see your setup uh, you know it, it's there you just uh going to trade it without any emotions involved you basically just trading the chart and not not because you are too excited you know to get in a trade and then you got fomo you got everything going on it's you know it's it's more like a routine and a, in a boring way you know like I, you know, I love boring trading because I know exactly what I'm looking for. And if it doesn't, uh, like, if it doesn't happen, I'm, I'm not going to trade. You know, I have absolutely no emotions involved. The time when I'm excited, the time when I have, uh, you know, emotions in my trading, I usually don't, per, uh, you know, perform that well. And usually end up to be those, you know, losses that uh, we experience uh, in trading. And so uh, you want to, you know, uh, like to focus on that, emphasize on that and uh, and uh, try to make a routine and try to make trading as stress free as possible. Yeah. And uh, the, the the next point is accepting the loss. You know, this is the key that I just literally talking about this. The good traders are the one that good with taking losses. They are really good at that because it, you know, it enable them to, it's like, uh, they trying to take a loss, you know, with ease. I mean, they look at the loss, uh, you know, as they accepting the defeat, right? They have, you know, uh, when, when, uh, they have a losing trade. They don't think about it too much. I mean, it's either that or that, right? All right, so I'm in a trade. I got stop out. Okay, I admit it. I'm wrong. You know, market, Mr. Market, you're right. I mean, there's no argument here. There's no ego here, nothing else. And which, which enable them to quickly adapt to the market environment. They don't have anything against the market, right? They don't have anything that they trying to argue or like, you know, uh, ego against that trade. Simply they get in a trade. If wrong, they cut it. No hard feelings. That's it. I mean, those are the one, I mean, those are the best traders usually because, uh, is, um, the ability to accept the loss. I mean, there's a lot of traders that refusing to accept that. I mean, you know, and, you know, refusing to accept the defeat. That's why they trying to get back in the trade and they try to revenge it. They trying to make it back because they think I'm right. Right. 
you know, you are wrong market. I'm going to show you what's, you know, is, <laughs> uh, what's, uh, uh, what really should be done here. But those are the traders that, uh, will, you know, likely uh, blow up, you know, at, at some point because of their ego. And so the good traders that I've seen, they are really good at, you know, accepting the loss and they embrace the loss. They use the loss as a lesson. They use that loss to learn to be better trader next time. The winners, you know, will not define who you are as a trader, but the losers, I mean, the losses will define who you are. You know, you won't see the true you when you win, but when like, like when you lose, you're going to see you know, the real you in trading, how you be able to handle the loss will define who you are as a trader. Try to really pay close, uh, and, uh, like, uh, at attention to that really pay close to the losses and, and, you know, just pre planning your trades, accept it beforehand, before you even enter the trade, know where you're going to get in, know where you're going to get out, no hard feelings, you know, accept the fact that you are going to lose this and that much in a single trade. And that will help you to stay focused, will help you to stay, you know, flexible during the trade. Like, you know, no surprises at all. I mean, it's, you know, I'm going to get in here. If it gets here, I'm going to stop out. You know, and that's what we've been talking about in um, Austin webinar uh, on Thursday. Uh, you need to have, you know, some sort of ultimate stop is to the point where it's the trade is no longer valid. Right. And you need to accept that adding to loser. Don't do that. The only reason why traders doing that, because they have the ego, right? They not accepting the loss. They're not accepting uh, the defeat. The idea is good. My idea is goal. I'm not wrong here. They don't admit that they're wrong, right? But that's the key thing for traders. You need to admit that you're wrong. Like you have to that admit that you know absolutely nothing, right? Once you accept that fact, the trading becomes so much more easier. The fact that you don't know nothing, the fact that uh, anything could happen, you know, it caused you to have a plan. It caused you to have a hard stop, right? But with the fact that, you know, I know everything about this, I'm so right, you know, on a hundred, like on hundred percent, this trade is going to work, you know, in my favor. That's how the ego will get in and, probably going to destroy them. And that's what people are blowing up the account because the ego is too big. So that's simple guys. So do not hold to a losing pushes, um, position, adding to a loser. Don't fight the trend. You know, trend is your friend. I, that's what I've been talking about in my view app video, overview app, long are in control, underview app, shorts are in control. Follow the trend. Don't fight it. I don't care how good, you know, you are, but if you fight the trend, probably you're going to get some ugly results out of that. Right. I mean, you could be, you know, right here and there, but the time when you're wrong, you're going to be really, really wrong. So don't just don't fight the trend guys. This is, this is the amount that uh, you should willing to raise max on the daily. It's like, if you lose this much, uh, you know, on the day, you're going to call it a day and, you know, come back tomorrow, start fresh, leave to fight another day, guys. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon and you trying to stay in this game for as long as you could. And eventually you might be able to get there. But, you know, if you, uh, if you can stay in the game, how can you get there? Right? So this is your airbags. This is going to save you like uh, daily. This is going to save you from blowing up. 
and everything so contact your brokers and set that with them and last but not least i mean this this is the part where most of our trades are you know the the losing ones right this is where the losers are when we trying to anticipate when we trying to predict the move and uh, when we trying to to trade like we think it's going to work but you know it's really everything about this one it's poor fomo to me and when do you anticipating when you trying to predict the move that's usually is the fomo one and because you have no data to back test you to back you up with this because if you know what you're looking for if you have the consistency if you know the stock selections right why the hell you would you know still anticipate and predicting the move this is poor fomo to me it's like uh when you fear of losing a trade or like fear of missing out the trade and you think all right let me guess the top here this is this might be the top let me get in some and then usually those trades will never end well so you know try to avoid that guys have a good weekend guys i think today's mother's day so happy Ma mother's day to all mother's day in the world i see you guys on the next one take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here